is the Indian Tawar actually inferior to the Japanese Katana? Let's find out. Today we're gonna do a series of tests to find which is better for slicing. And the answer actually surprised me. First, using this cardboard drop experiment, we can show one of the Katana's greatest features. As the curved weight of the Katana automatically aligns the blade towards your slice. Can the Tawar do the same? Yes, it can. But will this lead to better slices? Well, the Tawar and the Katana have a very similar curved design with a few key differences. First, since the Tawar is made from a very different steel, it has this crazy flexibility and noise to it whereas the katana is much more thick and rigid. It's also a one-handed sword with this horribly designed but iconic piece on the handle, which slices itself into my wrist every time I swing it. But despite this pain, I'm gonna see what I can do to this melon. First, using the katana. Ooh, and I'd say that was a massacre, but what really surprised me was this. The Tawar was incredibly fun to slice with.